Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire and how to use the unique plasma gun Experiment 18A. Now to acquire this weapon we will need to be inside the Institute. If you don't know how to get here, continue on with the main quests and in no time at all you will be up to the stage in that quest line in which you gain access to the Institute. Once inside we want to come to this tunnel with the green shopping bag logo above it. In here we will find a synth and this synth is the synth requisition officer. As soon as we enter the institute for the very first time you can come and speak to him. Head to barter, once the shop is open go across to weapons and go down to experiment 18A. And of course the price of the weapon will vary with your character's perks and your character's charisma level. And as always before we modded out and run through the stats I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the experiment 18A. So you can compare the stats of the weapons in my videos on a level playing field. So now to modding, we're going to be adding the overcharged capacitor, which gives us plus 75% damage and increases the magazine size to 33. You can choose whichever barrel you like, but I'm going to be going with the improved splitter and I'll speak a little bit more on why later. This turns it into a semi-automatic shotgun, giving us plus 13% damage, plus five minimum range, plus nine times max range, 100% side spread. It increases the spread to a large spread, adds a strong recoil, a plus 100% VATS cost and a plus 3% side time. Next for the stock we're going to be adding the recoil compensating stock, there's really no other viable options. Adding this stock now turns the weapon into a rifle, gives minus 7% sight sway, minus 40% sight spread, minus 30% recoil, plus 20% VATS cost, plus 10% sight time and plus 100% bash damage. And finally the only real viable option in terms of a scope is the reflex sights. Because we've added the improved splitter barrel, we're not going to be using this for long range shots so we don't need a long scope on it. It's going to be used for mostly medium to short range down sight shots. So adding the reflex sights is the most practical choice. As we can see it gives us 1.5 times zoom, minus 15% sight spread, minus 15% vats cost and minus 10% sight time. Again it's not the stats we're going for with this guy, it's just the practicality of it. So once we've modded it out like this, up the top we can see experiment 18A, minus 15% reload time plus 25% fire rates. Now this rapid legendary effect has actually recently been changed, it used to be plus 15% reload time and plus 25 fire rate and it's been recently changed to minus 15% reload time. So that's what it is now. Anyway, so once we've modded it out as I did, it does a base ballistic damage of 45 and a base energy damage of 45. That's right, it does both. It uses the plasma cartridge as ammunition, its fire rate is 41, its range is 119, its accuracy is 124, its weight is 6.1 pounds and its value is 750 caps. So the experiment 18A. The reason we put the improved splitter barrel on this, at least in my opinion, I thought it was a much more practical choice of barrel, especially for this legendary effect. We could have added an automatic barrel, but that burns through ammunition quite quickly, and plasma cartridges aren't exactly in abundance. When you also take into consideration it would have an ammunition capacity of about 30, using an automatic barrel will burn through that cartridge quite quickly, so you don't exactly want to be reloading this gun very often. So we could have made it into a sniper plasma gun, however with a sniper we could couldn't really take full advantage of the plus 25% fire rate. So I thought and still think the best way to take full advantage of this legendary effect is to add the improved splitter barrel, which as we know essentially turns it into a shotgun plasma rifle. So now instead of shooting one blob of green plasma, it now shoots six blobs of green plasma. And that base damage is actually split between all six shots. So you will have to hit a target with all six plasma blobs to do the full 45 ballistic damage and the 45 energy damage. But to be honest, if you're at a close range you should have no problems outside vats getting all six on the enemy. At a medium range it's not that bad, especially inside vats. I even found at long ranges I usually had no problems hitting the enemy inside vats at long ranges even with a splitter barrel. And it seems that when shot inside vats it only shoots one projectile instead of the six. But judging by the damage output I would assume that it puts all six into one blob. So that one projectile deals the full 45 ballistic damage and the 45 energy damage. This modification on this weapon is excellent and almost perfect for any kind of indoorsy city area fighting you will be doing. Running around quarters, shooting an enemy, going through doorways, things like that. Out in the open it's not bad at all, but you know you might want to use a sniper rifle or something a bit more tactical for those huge long range shots. But again when you're in rooms and corridors and running up and down stairs, this gun is perfect. You can turn into a room and wipe out just about everything in there in no time at all. You'll be unleashing 
an unstoppable barrage of superheated green plasma ready to gooify your enemies. With an ammunition capacity of 33 and each shot only using one ammunition, you shouldn't have to reload too often, as this is a more tactical gun than a spray and pray gun. Although you can run into a room and just shoot away, and this kind of strategy does actually work given that it has a plus 25% fire rate. So three, four, five, six enemies in a room, you can take all of them out within about three seconds. And that's outside of that too. All of the stray bullets will probably hit other enemies standing around. So the experiment 18A with these kind of modifications I found to be the perfect urban commando weapon. For the barrel type and the way it shoots, it has an excellent ammunition capacity. It shoots fast, so it's pretty much like a plasma version of the combat or riot shotgun. And then inside vats, even at long ranges, you can take out enemies. I mean, this gun modded this way is damn reliable. Now, as we know, the projectiles shot from this gun are green. However, the ones that hit the enemy glow in red, which I found a bit strange, but when shooting enemies at a medium to long range outside of vats and the bullets are spreading, the ones that miss will stay green and the ones that hit will become red, letting you know which ones hit. So it does have a little bit of a use. As I'm sure you've witnessed, kills with this gun have a chance to convert the target into a pile of green goo. Also, anything killed by this weapon has a chance to drop nuclear material on death. This chance increases if the target has been converted into goo. Unlike most things 18, the Experiment 18A cannot benefit from the Penetrator perk. An excellent weapon that's very reliable, you can clear a room easy without going through an entire cartridge, giving you time to reload. It's also ammunition efficient, it does huge damage, and it can work from ranges from close to long. So although the hypothesis may have been 50-50, after thorough examination, the Experiment 18A is a successful one. So hopefully the same team is now working on Experiment 32 Double D. And here it is, the Experiment 18A in action. <laughs> And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been the guide on the unique plasma gun, the Experiment 18A. I do hope that this video helped you in both locating the weapon and also trying to figure out how to best use it. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with new links to Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.